So your laptop is equipped with what's called a trackpad. Uh, this is how you're going to control the cursor on your mouse. But this trackpad can do a lot more than just moving your cursor around. Um, it is large, it is actually made of glass, and it supports what they call gestures. So not only can you move to control your pointer, but it'll recognize how many fingers you have on the trackpad at one time, and will recognize if you're swiping with one finger, two fingers, three fingers, you can pinch, you can zoom, you can rotate things. Um, it handles a lot more than just moving a cursor. All of the settings for that can be found in your uh, system preferences. So to change your trackpad settings, you're gonna do that in what are called system preferences. So I go to the Apple, I open system preferences, and I'm gonna go down here to trackpad. Now I have point and click, scroll and zoom, and gestures uh, that I can control here. Um, the first one I would recommend, there's an option here that says look up and data detectors. Uh, what this does is this will recognize how hard you are pushing on the trackpad um, and it'll give you these little pop-up messages that will pop up. Sometimes it makes things hard to drag and drop or to drag things around your screen, uh, but simply turning that one off will fix that. So if you're having weird things pop up when you're not expecting them, chances are this is turned on and so turning that off will fix that. Um, the other option that I like to use is one called secondary click. Uh, what that means is if I click something with one finger, uh, that is what's called a left click. If I click with two fingers, that's a secondary or right click. Um, so if you have that turned on, that's how you can access it. You can also control where that right click is. If you don't want to do a two finger click, you could tell it to use a bottom corner click of your trackpad instead. Again, it's just a matter of preference. Um, and you have a few other options here. Now, each one of these, if I hover over it, it gives you a nice little preview of what this looks like and how to control it. Uh, so for example, if I go to scroll and zoom, this shows me the scrolling direction. So what this means is if I pull down with two fingers uh, on my trackpad, this will scroll down or move up, it will scroll up on my page. It should mimic exactly what you see on um, smartphones or iPads. Uh, you have a zoom in and out feature. You have what's called a smart zoom, which when you simply double tap with two fingers, it'll recognize it and zoom in. You can also rotate with two fingers. And then again, I have what are called more gestures. These are different ways that you can do things in between apps where you can swipe between one app to the next. Um, launch things, show your desktop, all kinds of other fun gestures. Uh, and again, if you want to learn how to do these, you can just watch this little diagram here and this will show you exactly what that gesture looks like as you're going to put it together. So this is where you're going to control trackpad settings.